What's the one thing that you miss when you've got a T4, not a Caravelle, and it's 40 degrees or 38 or anything above 25? Air conditioning. It's a bit of a problem to solve, right? Because whenever a Caravelle gets broken, probably the first bits to go are the air conditioning units. And usually there's a waiting list for people who want the air conditioning parts. Well, we've got a trip, our summer trip coming up, and it's been pretty hot. And there's a heat wave in France, Spain, and Portugal again. So I'm hatching a plan, and I'm going to take you along on this journey because I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of you T4 owners out there like me who are busting to get air conditioning of some sort, effective air conditioning of some sort in their van, in their camper van. And I'm going to show you what I think I'm going to use. It's pretty cool. It's from the kit car world. Below the alternator on your 2.5 TDI, you should have these two mounting points over here. That's where the compressor fits. You just need to double check that you have those. I'm pretty sure the ACV and AJT come standard with those. No, don't quote me on it. So that's what you're looking for. Those two mounting points over there. That's where the compressor goes. You will need one of these brackets to mount to the engine block and to the compressor this is the part number you need I'll put it in the description below as well now before I go any further let me explain a little bit about the main components that make up the air conditioning system that I'm going to install obviously you need the air conditioning unit now this I have purchased from Car Builder Solutions as part of a kit. Then of course you have the compressor. This is what circulates the refrigerant around the air conditioning system. And it only engages when you flick a switch that you install on the dash somewhere. And when you engage that switch, it engages the clutch on the compressor and causes the compressor to drive the refrigerant around the system. The other major component is the air con condenser. It's kind of like a radiator, but it deals not with coolant, but with this refrigerant. And generally these are installed in front of your main radiator at the front of your vehicle. Then you have the small dryer, which is this little component over here. It's the one that looks like a bottled drink. Then you have your two connection points. One's a high pressure connection point and one is a low pressure connection point. And then what links all of these bits and pieces together are these hoses. Now on factory installed air conditioning systems, these hoses will all be aluminium. And there's generally three different sizes of hoses, and they're referred to as dash six for the smallest, dash eight for medium, and dash 10 for the largest. Hopefully you found that explanation a little bit helpful. Now I'm going to fit air conditioning to my VW T4 camper van. Happy days. You are going to need a few bits to do this. And there is everything I might need to do this conversion. So we've got the compressor, which I picked up off eBay, the, the longer auxiliary belt, which is that part number over there, the actual air conditioning unit, which is made by 
and a company called Calori. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tiny. It has four outlets, plenums on the front. The kit comes with the trinary switch, a trinary switch, however you want to say it, the three position switch, the dryer, of course, the dryer brackets, a whole host of connectors, which they say is enough to do a normal system. And then, of course, the radiator condenser. And then we've got the heater control valve, which I'm not going to hook up at the moment because I don't need heat in 40 degree weather. And this is the cable which controls the heat control switch and then a couple of extra connectors to wire this whole baby up. So that is in effect everything that I need except for the hoses to connect all these things together. But I'll show you that shortly. I already know that these types of connectors do not attach to the back of this compressor because the, the connectors on the back of the compressor are PAD, P-A-D. Um, so I've ordered some adapters from T7 Design to connect to here. I just want to check these connectors here. They are PAD style connectors, P-A-D. Unlike these other UNF and UNM connections. So a pad style connector is like this, uh, which is often found on air conditioning systems nowadays, uh, factory fitted aircon. They're pretty much all the same. As long as you can get the fittings to fit, uh, you can, you know, put together a system. What I want to check which dawned on me was just how these things work over here. So I'm going to take these off and have a look. See, yikes, that is in there tight, people. What? Let's see if we can crack these off with the, the ratchets. Wow. There we go. bit of a relief because I started to wonder actually do I have some weird connector no nope, I don't there you go these are just uh, caps on the back of the compressor oh, there we go just a uh... so here you can see the two different sizes um, the dash 10 which is the larger one dash 6 which is the smaller right so there's the the connections there you can see so the markings on the back here s for suction d for discharge so you know what direction things have got to go in so here we have the pad connectors Let's... yeah there we go right so i know i've got one that fits like that and then it's just locked in place using the allen screw like that so that's the larger one but i have ordered two connectors uh, two connector adapters from t7 design anyway which will fit these two a dash 10 and a dash 6 um, and then i'll be able to use the uh, the female connectors to screw on there like that. In Car Builder Solutions paper catalogue, it has all the steps or well, a lot of info about connecting up one of their kits. They have various air conditioning unit kits and heating kits, you know, using one of their kits rather than installing something from a Caraval or another T4. And of course, it also has a little wiring diagram to wire everything up to the switch. And in this little unit that I've bought has a, a lead which controls the compressor. So the compressor clutch, 
which is over there. You know, it gets switched on and off when you switch the air conditioning on and off. So yeah, pretty good. Um, let's see how it all comes together. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.